you guys for tuning in. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be an interesting one. So we're going to be dropping my 4L60E um, transmission and transfer case. We're going to have to take both of them out. Uh, we're going to rebuild the 4L, well, let me rephrase that. We're going to overhaul the 4L60E. What we've got going on right now is in my truck, right when the whole coronavirus thing hit, right about mid mid February when all the states were going on their lockdowns and everything, my transmission lost second and basically fourth gear. Um, we wound up tearing, uh, we dropped the transmission in my driveway. Me and my little brother drove it up to my stepdad who rebuilds transmissions and he's damn good at it too. Um, so we drove up there, we tore the transmission apart, we found the problems, and I told him, I said, man, I'm, I'm not really looking to do a complete overhaul. I'm not trying to spend the money on the parts, blah, blah, blah. And basically, my goal was to just get the truck back on the road for the time being because I was going to trade in the truck on a Cadillac. That didn't pan out. Uh, then I decided I was going to keep the Avalanche. We wound up putting the 26s on it. We wound up putting the 37s on it. Wound up putting the 8 inch lift on it. And it was like, okay, well now that I'm keeping this thing, it's time to overhaul the transmission. And he has a scan tool that we should be able to change the shift points for the transmission to do better. Also, I have to change O2 sensors because right now the truck's readings are all over the place. So that'll all be done, hopefully today. Like I said, it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm making the trip up there. I'm gonna drop the, the transmission myself. Uh, he doesn't have a lift or anything, but I've got all the tools I need in the truck. I got a transmission jack, I got everything I need. So that's the plan. If you guys wanna see how to drop a transmission, stay tuned. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do that. I'm, I'm trying to come up with content at least once a week. Um, I know sometimes it takes a little bit longer. I had a Daytona video from when we went to Daytona and my wife recorded a lot of it. I forgot to tell her to wipe off the screen. So a lot of it was blurry, that was on me. So I just didn't feel the need to upload the subpar content for you guys at home. Um, so here we go. Well, we made it, finally. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I really had to baby the truck along um, to get it here. But uh, what it was doing was when it got in gear, it would just whine it out. But it would never actually grip. So basically what I was having to do was I would get it in, into the, like, you know, it was in first starting off from a stoplight or whatever. And it would just, I would just baby it till it got all the way up. And then I'd let it shift again. Then I baby it all the way up. And I let it shift again. I wound up having to pull over once just to let the transmission cool off a little bit. And then I did it all over again. But we got it here. And, uh,. Stop, stop, I'm ODing. No rock stop. 
I'm ACDC When I die, I bet they love me But hate me when I'm breathing I think you only love me cause I'm popping This a layup, this a rebound that's running Tyson with the fade, not that hair My hands rocking When I link with ballpoint I think you only love me cause I'm popping This a layup, this a rebound that is rapping Tyson with the fade, not that hair My hands rocking When I link with ballpoint, you know it's not, not, not change it up a little bit. I'm going to drop this transfer case first and then we'll drop the transmission because the transmission is going to take a little bit more. You have to reach all the way up in there and get those bolts at the very top. It was a nightmare. It was a pain in the ass. But I finally got it out. And now I've got to get it all the way out. I think got my finger pretty good. Not bleeding yet, but it cut into me. Anyway, let's get that thing out of here. Got all these fancy new parts. All these fancy new parts up here that need to go in it. Put it in work, put it in work. 
call him bluffs. And I can't waste none of my time, so stop clogging up my line. Giddy up, 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 giddy Call a two and five eighths inch. Two and five eighths, and what would this one be? A two inch? Uh, a little over. Yeah. So if you look, that's what I used to have. That's what we're going back. To. Definitely see the difference. There. Bigger is better. That's right. And this. like streaming out of this hole right here yeah right, ready yeah hit it one more time Let's see if you guys can see that oh yeah <laughs> good god it's like it's oozing all over i got it all over the gopro and everything <laughs> yeah so it's not supposed to be doing that no this ball is supposed to seat and not let anything come past it and when we tested it in the house, it did good. It, yep. it seated perfectly. So we'll uh, we'll pull that one out and check it with the vacuum gauge. The new one, the old one that's in there against the new one. Against the new one. Yeah. I'm good. All right, guys. So right now we're gonna do a vacuum test on our new and our old. You hear how it doesn't even hit? This is our new, this is our old. It's pretty crazy. All right. Let me do the old one. That's, that's the new one, this is the old one. Old one, okay. 
Right. I'll, here. You, yeah, you want that. me to? Right. So All right. Let's watch the pressure gauge that's there. Vacuum. Vacuum. Vacuum gauge. A vacuum Excuse me. On the back side of it. On the ball side? Yep. So. <laughs> Slip. All right. We ready? Okay. Yep. Go for it. Oh, it's losing every time. Won't it goes hold, it goes up to five and just drops. Yep. All right. Now we're going to swap to the new one. All right. New one's in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's holding the whole time. Nice. Yep. Well, that shows you guys something that's really been a problem. Look at that. I mean, we're going all the way up. I think I just released some. We're at 20. And holds. And holds. We're replacing. Oh, look out. Watch your feet. This servo here. No. Not this one. That's fourth gear. This is what's going to go back with a Corvette servo. This so is the this magical. Is... Right. And the difference is the amount of pressure room, right? Yeah. And this is surface area difference between the outside to the inside. See the size difference? So that's going to create more pressure. That's right. More holding force for the band. More holding power. So we removed our check ball that was leaking. Which went. Which bleeds out. You need a uh, you need a flashlight. Maybe. Oh, it goes in right there in that little. In that hole right there. Right? Hole right there. You want to get a flashlight or not? No, we don't need one. I think we do. I think to get a good good picture. Here, I got my phone. Okay, that'll work. I have a, I have a flashlight on the GoPro, but it's dead. Doesn't help us. Let's see. There it goes. So you see. Let me get you hold, screwdriver. Yeah, there you go. All right. So what? Where this that? This space right here is where that check ball capsule is going to be installed the one we just tested yep so we've got it removed now we're going to install the new one and that's where it'll be coming through that gap okay let's install the new one yep and you can uh you can video it coming in the hole sure thing transmission porn <laughs> Good to me. Yep. You want to uh, mark your while you have it off? Nah, I, I will. Guys, if you want to go into rebuilding your transmission, I just want you to know it's a lot of work. Overhauling it, rebuilding it, whatever your plan is, it's a lot of work, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and if you can't do it, just contact me and we'll figure out a way to get it over here and i i can do it and tommy can do it <laughs> we'll get you hooked up might cost you but we'll get you hooked up so for the three four clutch we have now went from a six clutch to an eight clutch or that's right right yep three four gear six clutch we went from a six to an eight, which is gonna be better grabbing power and holding capacity. holding capacity. So it should be a lot stronger and a lot better. We also have, we're waiting on a part. We're gonna to have to go get one. Basically I have eaten this gear two pieces. So we're gonna get one of those. Got some O2 sensors coming. But yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be this is gonna be awesome. And now to get it get it final, finalized and back in the truck so we can see if it'll spin these big ass tires. <laughs> All 
All right, so update time. And as you can see, when we started this this morning on day two, sun was on that side of me. Now it's on this side of me. I haven't recorded any because we have been on the road all day. Uh, we tried to drill out the hole or the uh, the bolt spot on the on the. Uh, I'm having a mind blank. Torque converter didn't work. Couldn't get it, so we went to somebody else we thought could torch it and then possibly get it out. That didn't work. So then we went all the way downtown Augusta and got a remand one from Weeks um, Transmission. So hopefully they uh, gave me a good one. With that, we're now, we're gonna, what are we doing? Beefing up the Corvette servo? Yeah. So we're beefing up the Corvette servo to where it's not gonna be a huge mm, pound and um, Got a few other things that we're going to change and then we're going to button it all up. So stay tuned. Let's see how this thing works. This is the Corvette servo and it's got a cap plate and this is the spring that came in my stock servo okay this spring we then translate to the Corvette servo but because this Corvette servo is gonna have so much more pressure it's gonna be like a pow when it goes in the second we don't want that we want we want it to we want it to hit but we want it to be a softer hit so the uh, kit is going to be including two more springs that sit down inside there. We're having to notch the top um, cover and then it also gets oh, this ring, wherever that goes. I don't know yet. He's going to have to tell me, but that's what, that way it has more pressure. It'll still bottom but it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit more pressure for it to bottom out. So he's went in there and notched our cover plate, basically so when when the piston's coming through like this and it bottoms out, it'll allow the fluid to come out of here. So as you can see, we got our three springs in there. Let's go ahead and get this in the vise. go here so that one goes there in the case all right so this is going to be our servo release spring this is our old one this is going to be going from second to third to make it a little bit uh quicker shift, quicker shift. and as you can see i don't know if you can see that it's a lot beefier so we'll put that in there and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall this
finally, ooh, you guys got some on you. There. Finally got the transmission completely built and put back together. I... Hmm, them freaking lights. I swear I don't know why those lights sound like that. All right guys, so I got everything installed. I had like four bolts left over and you didn't do something right if you don't have bolts left over. I'm just kidding. I got everything installed. I did have one little nut left over, but it was because I chose not to hook up one of the spots. I rerouted some of my wires over the top. Um, other than that, we just put it in, in, in uh, drive and reverse to test it. Everything's running good so far. We are now gonna clear clear our trans codes. Trans adapts. Trans adapts. So we're gonna clear those and then we're gonna take it down the road. Be easy on it, baby it a little bit. Let's see what it'll do. I'm excited. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm been working all night. It is now Monday afternoon, and as you can see, transmission is back out of the truck. Why, you might ask. So on our test runs, we kept getting it to shift from second to, well, it was trying to shift into third or fourth. We don't know. We're not really for sure what it was trying to do, but it definitely wasn't working properly. So um, decided to drop it today took kind of a break yesterday and now we have torn it apart to find out this is the only problem we found so far everything else still looks never been touched god that's heavy all right but on our gasket here we did find that this was ripped we're supposed to be down and if you look right there there's a little pinhole that will be filling that'll have fluid coming through and then you've got your main hole and guess what that's just been ripped open and it could have been doing any number of things we don't know all these little holes they all do something they all have a purpose when it comes to this grid work so we're not for sure what that is tying to it looks like it's where the sil one of the shift solenoids are so if that's the case that shift solenoid has been losing power pressure you think that's right? Yeah. So that shift solenoid has been losing pressure and not shifting the truck like it's supposed to. So, and that would be the, probably the one, two or the two, three. Which one do you think that is? Could affect both of them. We don't know. That's true. It could affect both right being right there because the other one is going to be sitting right about here. So it could be affecting both because if this was up like that and it was holding our piece up it could have been blowing it all clear across there we have no idea so that's what we've got going on right now we're going to get this replaced we're going to check we're going to check anything else we've already checked our servo everything looks good in there all, all of our parts look brand new i mean never they, they look like they're supposed to look so we're assuming that that's probably our issue right there is this one ripped ripped uh uh gasket and Throw it back together and see what see what happens. I hate that we took the whole thing out to find that when we could have just dropped the pan when we had it, but because <clears throat> um, Saturday night we dropped the pan and checked everything on top. Now we did not check this part. We didn't go this deep. If we would have went this deep, we would have found that problem. We probably would have been able to fix it right then and there, and the truck would have ran fine. We're not a hundred percent positive, so we're gonna get this thing back together and hopefully I can bring you guys some good news in just a little while. Uh, got my little brother coming up. He's gonna help me put this thing back in again. This will be the second time so This is the third time that the transmission has been out of the truck and hopefully it'll last so keep y'all posted I just wanted to I don't even know if my my lens looks foggy uh, everything but Yeah, that looks better Probably doesn't help on wiping it with transmission fluid. I just wanted to say how much of a freaking nightmare this job is absolute nightmare the satis the satisfaction that comes with it yes great awesome 
But doing it, man, this has been a freaking nightmare. It would be so much easier with a lift and all that stuff, but I don't have all that. So, um, I'm at the final stretch. I, I've got to put some drive shafts in, um, the cross member, and I'm, I'm home free. We're starting the truck. So, I just wanted to get on real quick before we show it rolling down the road or whatever to let you guys know if you're planning on doing this, have tons of patience and be sure to know what you're doing. I mean, even if you don't know what you're doing, have somebody that knows what they're doing. And if not, just leave it to the professionals. Fortunately, my stepdad, when we pulled it apart, the problem that we had was just one little spot, small spot. We got it fixed. Transmission's back in there. We're going to have it rolling in hopefully 30 minutes. So, let's see. Here it is, guys. Truck's running great. It, it shifts super smooth um, I couldn't ask for a better turnout thank you guys for watching this this whole process and stay tuned for the next one who knows what what we can do I mean I just had an awesome idea presented to me and I think I want to do it so Taylor made you got this one that, that one's on you that idea is gonna happen we got we got two great YouTube videos that are gonna be coming up I'm going to try and get one out this, this next week. And I know the next one is going to be the following week. So you guys stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace.